Britain's own. In 1973, when the CARICOM community was established by the Treaty of Chagaramas in Trillion Tobago, the signatories aimed to create a common space for territories to work towards economic integration and sustain prosperity. This 50th anniversary milestone presents us with an opportunity to take stock of our achievements and assess whether we have remained true to the ideals of those who drafted the blueprint of this noble institution. I felt it fitting to do this introspection early in my chairmanship before we engage in the most ambitious agenda over the next six months. As we confront the trials of our times, defined by huge environmental and climate-related challenges, conflict and economic uncertainty, we must renew our efforts to protect the livelihoods of our people and achieve economic resilience and prosperity. At 50, we must consider how we increase the productivity of our respective states, increase trade revenues, and create sustainable economies. Eliminate trade barriers and encourage free trade and facilitate the free movement of skilled citizens across our borders for work. My dear friends, at 50, the region's 11 million young people are depending on this CARICOM to play a leading role in crime prevention and the elimination of its harmful effects on citizens and societies. Our students are depending on us to harmonize our regional education systems and to set targeted learning outcomes to prepare millennials to not just survive but to thrive in a fast-paced global economy, to reconstruct a classroom layout and timetable that promotes the development of the holistic child grounded in culture and values. At 50, we must also be true to our responsibility of being our brother's keeper and turn our many discussions on Haiti into action to ensure that our Haitian brothers and sisters are allowed unfettered access to quality education and healthcare services, reliable and safe food supplies, and enhanced security. Ladies and gentlemen, over the next six months, I intend to place added emphasis on advancing free movement of skills, resilience, regional travel, health, and education. In different forums via various mediums, I look forward to engaging regional stakeholders with a view to setting goals for the next 50 years. CARICOM has served this region well. I urge all of us to mark this occasion with a sense of pride and gratitude and to look ahead with heightened enthusiasm to another 50 years of stability, security, and progress for all. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to our region on attaining this milestone. I congratulate all who have contributed to the success of CARICOM. I especially recognize the Secretary General and staff, both past and present, for their efforts and commitment, and I vow to continue playing my part to ensure the success of CARICOM for another 50 years. Once again, congratulations and may God bless us all.